There you are. Oh, wow. This feels weird by myself. Um, okay. Um, is there anyone there? One person. Cool. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Sarah. I'm the brand style director here at Tibby. As you can see, Amy is not here. She's currently in Atlanta and visiting our St. Simon store and the warehouse. But don't leave because we have a really great live planned for you today. Um, if you guys subscribe to our newsletter, which if you don't, please do. But if you do, then you know that we do different fabric spotlights throughout the week. So you get familiar with different fabrications that we're launching or new iterations. So today for live, we figured we would break down three of our favorite fabric categories, textile categories, what have you, the silhouettes, and style them to show you how we're wearing them and how really transitional they are from now, while it's still a little bit hot, well through the fall. Um, so our first category is the window pane check. So I'm gonna have Julia come on. Um, and we also, for this live, are using our fun new socks to show you guys you know, some different color pairing and how you can really go super creative or if you lean really pragmatic. You know, We have a little bit of something for everyone, so I hope you guys find this useful. Um, Julia, do you wanna tell us a little bit about your look? Yes, I would love to. This is the um, window pane techie twill uh, slip dress, mm -hmm. and it has a really nice material, a really elegant neckline here, and it just feels very breathable. And then tied around my waist, I have the matching button-down shirt, which is a really great accessory here, and can also be, you know, standalone on its own. Totally. Dress down. And if you guys have tuned into live previously, which I hope most of you have, you know that I am a big fan of always having an extra shirt or a sweater that you can put on in a pinch. So, you know, I've just simply tied this around Julia's waist, tied a knot with it. Um, the great thing, Julia, if you want to come on, the great thing about this shirt and most of our shirts in particular is the silver ring on the back. So like if you're out and you need to hang up your coat somewhere, that's simply what this ring is for to like, put it on the hook under the bar or, you know, put it over a table. So we definitely, and by we, I mean Tracy and Amy, thought of all of those details that you guys need, that we also need when we are out and about. Yes. So I think what I love about this in particular is of course, like the slip dress on its own definitely packs a punch, but I think adding this shirt, which A, for that multifunctional reason, which we just went over, and B, it just style-wise, it just like draws your eye right here to some general point of interest. Um, and to, you know, still keep it kind of like buy now, wear now. Um, and to keep it in line with spring currently, we opted for this kind of mint green sock, um, which we made with an Italian mill and you can get them at our store if you haven't already. We have your stylist. Um, and we just simply paired it with the Dan, Daniel Ola, Ola, short one, Ola, with the Ola shoe in the patent gray. Um, you know, as we often talk about, I think a lot of the kind of no color colors here definitely have different undertones that you can play up or down. And so I think the green and the gray here kind of play off of each other and it really is this like muted gray undertone. So where you might not necessarily want to pick up a mint green sock, um, I hope. You do? What, Derek? Um, there's a couple of questions about how to wear this with a bra, and is it generally just oh, talk yeah. about bras? Sure. sure. I was not, yes, I was not prepared for today with my back, if you didn't notice. notice. But I think that, <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes it happens. But um, if I was doing this, I you would do a, like a thin strap little bralette back here. You could even go braless whatever you want, whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. You could do a little bit and go, also that just kind of goes totally. below. Um, something that Amy and I both love is doing kind of a very thin bralette or bra that is in a bright color. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, it sounds kind of tacky, but it's kind of that gross that it makes it really good. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably do it in like a red, orange, um, 
not that they need any more love, but mm -hmm. Skims makes really good ones mm -hmm. in like lavender and orange, which kind of really work with this color combination. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think as Julia mentioned, like having like a thin bra strap show is really not the end of the world. And mm -hmm. if anything, it's more of like a styling technique now. So this dress, I think they're definitely, you know, is suitable for both smaller and larger busts. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And I really like um, how this kind of cinches it up a little bit. It adds a little bit more shape. Mm -hmm. And this is probably how I would wear it going out. And totally. And then, so for, like, as we transition into fall, I definitely think you can obviously layer it with this shirt. Mm -hmm. So, um, Julia, can you look Yeah. Julia can put this shirt on and bring her and button it all the way. And then, you know, one of our new favorite jackets that is really the perfect transitional jacket, I would say, as it gets finally, fingers crossed, a little bit cooler is the boucle wool um, kind of oversized trucker jacket almost. Um, Julia is wearing, just so you guys know, a small in both the dress and the shirt. And um, this jacket, I really think, really turns up or tones down an outfit. So Julia just puts this on. So I think like we think of a slip dress and we kind of think something a little bit romantic, mm -hmm. elegant, but immediately add on this jacket, just kind of like up the cool factor and tone down like how prim it was. Um, the boucle I definitely think is warm enough to get you through when you like well through the winter mm -hmm. but definitely something that like you know if you're at the beach and it's colder um definitely those summer nights on the water yeah. cool down i think this is kind mm -hmm. of like perfect for that and i really hear again like how the mint green sock just works with the navy jacket yeah. and the print like this is definitely like i said leaning more creative Julia, how tall are you? I'm 5'10", and with these little heelys, I'm probably 5'11 and a half. So Julia's quite tall. Oh, Amy answered. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I definitely think that this leans more creative on like the creative pragmatism scale, but because the palette is somewhat neutral mm -hmm. and toned down, I definitely think if you're looking to like dip your toes into more experimental style, I would start here. Cool. Thank you. Allie. Uh, Allie, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm Allie. I work on the creative team with Byron. You guys know Byron. So. Yeah. Well, this is Allie. And Allie is wearing the button-down twill shirt that Julia just had tied around her waist. And we styled it with the um, nylon jogger pant, like our tried and true, fundamental style, you know it, you love it, we do too. Mm -hmm. And again, we wanted to play with the color here. So I think a lot of people as we go into fall, like shy away from white, but I think using, first of all, a sock, which like texture wise, um, and just like the nature of it, layering immediately is going to transition your look to something that's a little bit more like cold weather appropriate. And then putting it with a navy sandal, added a little bit of pat and a little bit of point of interest, which I think also draws your eye down. Um, so for me, this definitely doesn't look like she's in the middle of summer, though like it totally works for it. I think you could easily transition in to fall with this. Um, and again, like Ali's trying to print and then we're really grounding it with a fundamental style and then again, experimenting with the socks. And as you know, Amy is all about styling with the socks. So we definitely are thinking of her today. Um, and then the last piece in this lovely capsule is the pullover, which also has a cinch waist um, and a detail that is a drop down to like about a V-neck. Um, so I'm going to have Allie put this on over what she's wearing. Oh, I'm taller than I'm 5'6". Allie's 5'6". 
the pants are a small, the top is a small, as is this little pullover. Um, so what I love about this is, again, like doing a print on print with the same print is a really nice way to transition into something bold if you tend to stick to like neutral colors. Um, and this for me is just like kind of again like tones down the outfit. Again, we've kept the accessories, we kept the pants. It's just an added layer that like I really think is perfect again for summer as you know everyone's going on vacation and then through fall. It's just like an easy layer. Um, you know we can totally unpack this shirt and cinch this a bit up, cinch this a bit at the waist so that it's like so not all over the place. I don't mind that it's a little bit messy. I kind of think that this layering is just like a really nice and easy way. Like it's thoughtful, but it doesn't look like you're trying so hard. Um, it's super, super lightweight. So as are the pants, which you guys know. So it, you're definitely not gonna feel like you're sweating, but at the same time, I wouldn't suggest this look without a coat if it's snowing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then, you know, because we're looking to layer. Um, we love the Lyocell brown jacket, um, super lightweight again. So I'm really just throwing it all on here. Love this. Love this. And so I think adding this coat, again, I mean, she could do it without, obviously, the double checkered shirt. But it's super lightweight. I think the brown kind of makes it a little bit more fall friendly. We have it has a scarf that comes connected to it, but you can easily take it off if you want to show the people in the back. Show the people with the same uh, the same hook that we talked about before. Um, so I really think that this is a super lightweight way to layer without adding bulk. Um, and really like the ideal way that you're gonna transition from wearing like a bathing suit and a cover up to fall, but like this is really the happy medium. Totally. Yeah, this feels amazing. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. People have questions? Um, people are saying that they love it. And <laughs> they wanted to know if the fabric was lightweight by Amy. The fabric is definitely lightweight, you guys. Um, the Techie Twill, you know, we are really calling it kind of like our buy now, wear now, because we really feel like it's so perfect for this moment, but then well through the season. The brown lifestyle jacket that we just showed with the scarf is also like the best transitional piece, I think, for layering. So this is something that is definitely a 12 mower. You're gonna want it. You're gonna want it well through the fall and then you're going to want it well through spring. It's really perfect for the plane. Um, it rolls up really small. I believe Amy has rolled it up and like put it in a pocket of something else prior. Um, and this is all available now. So you can buy it now, wear it now, wear it later. Um, the next category that we are going to talk about, the next textile, is the eco, um, is the featherweight eco crepe. Um, so this category has three styles and two colorways. We have two shirts. So I'm holding up the slimmer button down shirt, um, which again, just has a super slim arm and body um, as opposed to the oversized one, which um, if you can see the sleeve here, it's a bit of a Jolman sleeve. It definitely is not going to be super on your shoulder. It's supposed to billow, it's supposed to be a little bit oversized. Um, there's some back detail here that I really like wearing this shirt backwards. Um, oops, sorry. What am I not going to wear now? Your shirt. Yeah. Okay. What's um. that? <laughs> um, so I'm going to have Julia come on. Will you pull it? I'm gonna have Julia, sorry everyone. I'm gonna have Julia come on and she is wearing, do you wanna pick up the blazer for a second? Yeah. So she is wearing that oversized Jolman sleeve shirt, which I just showed you in the navy. Um, 
really like the fit of this and how it billows. So it doesn't feel as structured as say like your typical silk button down. Um, so I think that alone just makes it really easy. And then we paired it today with the camo jogger. Um, what I love about this, and then we did a red tabby sock with the red shoe. Um, what I love about this is that it all kind of works so that your eye isn't going all over mm -hmm. the place. Yes, I really like the color palette that we have here. Again, the it's a you know it's a bright sock, it's a bright shoe, but it seems very doable, and it doesn't seem too overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's just a, it's a very good red. This shirt is super lightweight. I feel like I could layer it very easily too. Even if it was like super chilly, I could have something underneath this. Um, and yeah, and yeah. I wanna... So you know. We wanted to show you guys how do you pair these styles back to fundamentals, which you might own or are looking to buy. Um, what I love about the camo pant in particular is that camo really is a neutral, um, especially when paired with like the rest of the fundamentals and more of like a solid grounded color palette. But even here with the red and this kind of sunset tan, which are definitely bolder, I think it still is like a saturated enough palette that my eye is not going right to the sock and shoe, but it definitely adds a little bit of something extra so that it don't just feel like you're wearing a jogger and button down. It mm -hmm. definitely feels a little bit thought out, a little bit more elevated. Yeah. Cool. Oh, wait, sorry. And the, but wait, there's oh. one. Um, so Julia came on with the Liam Blazer in the Dark Stone. Again, this is from our fundamental collection, which you guys know and love. I think adding this is again, just like a perfect play for PBW. I think the dark stone again, works right within this color palette. Like I wouldn't say that it's taking away or adding anything. I think it really just like matches right in. So Julia could definitely go to a meeting in this and take this off and go to dinner with friends. I really think that all of these pieces individually are so multifunctional, um, but again, we're adding just a little bit something extra with the color play, with the print. It's definitely a ton, you guys. You know that I, I'm one ton, definitely ton person, um, and I'm going a little bit rogue today. I'm not, <laughs> but um, yeah. So we definitely like this for those who lean really creative, or those who are just looking to experiment. And, you know, again, we pair this with two key fundamentals that you guys probably already own. So it really is just working with what you already have and building up on it. Yes. And Julia is wearing a small in everything. Yes. Small full. Cool. Thanks, Julia. Thank you. Okay. So you guys have seen this dress a lot, I'm sure, because we love it. Um, but this is again from the featherweight eco crepe capsule. This is the dress. It also comes in the sunset tan that Julie was just wearing. You know, I think that this is kind of like the perfect throw on and go dress, no matter like what the occasion or where you're going, especially if you're just like really unsure, you're not feeling it. Immediately you're going to put this on and feel really great. Um, we paired it with, again, the blue patent Ola shoe and added a brown knee high sock from our new sock club um, and I think that you know what I was thinking about doing gray or navy and you know these are all doable colors I just happen to really like brown and navy together I think it's I think it's just like a nice interesting mix um, so this is definitely like a really easy wear for everything but you know you can also again easily put on a blazer over it playing up to this is really, for me, the, a nun look. Um, I don't think that the brown really justifies one. I think it's really just like in this neutral color palette. So again, we've just paired it back to a fundamental that just adds a little bit something so that it really transitions to things you have in your life. And then I would even add on top of it, I would even add on top of it kind of this, this black chewed up this 
black chewed up sweater, which um, we have in tan also. It comes in a dress version and the short sweater. Again, I'm very much all about layering in a way that feels purposeful and things that you're gonna use. So let's say Allie wants to dish the laser at work, but she's going out and wants to pick a sweater with her. Like she already has it, it's so easy. Um, a lot of these things, you know, really can be tied around your waist or a bag or around your neck. They double as scarves for the airplane. Like they really are multifaceted. I don't just consider like a sweater a sweater. And this sweater in particular is black, but I don't think again that that takes away from the navy look and the brown sock. I think if anything, it just adds like a tiny bit of dimension. Um, and it just seems like if she was wearing a navy sweater and a navy sock, that would be great. Don't get me wrong, I love navy. But I do think that this adds like a little bit something extra totally. and it's super. I cool. love a little pop of brown in the socks yeah. too. It's so nice with the navy. Totally. Yeah. Um, okay, well. The last category um, is the active knit category, so I will talk about what I'm wearing. Um, these are the active knit pants, um, and I'm wearing an extra, extra small. I have them buttoned, or snapped, I should say, on the underneath side, which, as you guys know, is a great detail that we've added here because this way you can like shorten them and alter them without doing anything permanent. If you're like me and you wear shoes of different heights all around, um, you definitely don't want to go too short. So this kind of gives people like me who are, you know, super experimental or, you know, just if you're in between a sneaker and a heel, like being able to um, amend the length is really important. And then um, also what's really great is the cinch tie waist I have in fact rolled these ones because they're still a little bit long on me but I actually don't really mind that um and I'm kind of doing a more like casual vibe the shirt that I'm wearing will be available soon I'm sorry but it is the eco acetate um shirt jacket in tan it also comes in black it has a cut out elbow that you guys know from the Marlins, so you're gonna see a lot of our like signature details and familiarity from previous collections, from fundamentals, really as you go through fall and then holiday and resort. So we definitely, you know, want want you guys to add to different pieces that you bought from previous collections. It should all really build together. Um I so these tans are actually different tans, but I kind of like that saturated play together. Um, I think it's, again, it's just a really subtle way, like we showed you with um, the navy dress and blazer and the black sweater and brown sock that um, Allie was wearing. I think that, you know, having kind of two different tones really actually looks quite elevated. And I chose to wear the Scotty, which is the more like tapered and tailored version um, versus the wide leg because I am wearing kind of an oversized shirt jacket on me and so I wanted to kind of have a silhouette that was long and lean um, and then I'm wearing the red sock with an orange baron um, so I kept it really casual but I will say that these active knit pants can definitely be dialed up as well and you can add a heel and a little tee, and it completely changes. So I'm gonna have Julia come on. So Julia is wearing the wide leg version in red. Um, she's wearing it with my favorite mercerized <laughs> shoulder pad tee in, it's black, but kind of looks navy, but it is black. And again, she kept on the red sock and the red sandal because I just liked that it created like a longer line. I definitely am not afraid of bold color altogether. And I think there's something really interesting about this. Um, but this immediately feels toned up mm -hmm. from what I'm wearing. Not saying anything. Yeah. Um, I really love these pants and I love it with this shirt because this shirt, I don't know if you can see, but it has this texture to it and it kind of it makes it a lot more elevated 
And again, the heel is a really great way for somebody to play with the creativity of this pant, and it adds another element of, you know, another interesting element to these pants, and it elongates. And I'm also, I'm 5'10", so these are really great pants for me because they go all the way to the ground on both of us still, which is Major awesome. Part. But Julius are not snapped. I unsnapped mine, but if I was going outside right now into the city, I would snap them up. Obviously, I do not want them to get dirty, which is something that the snaps really good for. Totally. Yeah. And I just want to touch upon the fabrication here. This truly is like an active, I mean active net, obviously, but it really is like a, the same material, but I think actually a bit finer, a bit more polished than like a regular track pant that you might grab mm -hmm. from a sports store. Um, and again, what I love about pairing it with this top in particular is that this is this moisturized wool is also super elevated, so it's not just a basic t-shirt or a bodysuit. So here we're working, we're definitely working with different textiles in order to make it more polished. Um, again, the shape is something that we've had in fundamentals, we still do. The shoulder pad T is definitely a tried and true to us here at Tibi. But I definitely think if we had done the t-shirt version, it would feel a bit more, like the cotton tee, mm -hmm. it would feel a bit more casual. And so like the this feels definitely chill, modern, classic. And then to add in like one more texture, um, we definitely have Julia wear this tan, you wanna throw it on? tan um, fleece pullover. This is the quarter zip. But again, I think that it's a really nice play on the texture. I don't think that the heel in this case takes away from it at all. If I saw Julia walking down the street, I would be like, you look really cool. Yes. And But you definitely still feel comfortable. Yeah, for sure. I don't feel like I'm straying from my personal style a lot. I feel like I'm adding with the shoes. And this texture also, I'll go up close so you all can see it, is super, super cozy, but it's not itchy, which is something that nobody likes. And it has the um, little lining in here. Totally. And then just to add to this, um, there are pockets in this jacket because of course there are pockets. And then just one more, um, if you wanna come up, there's actually a hidden pocket at the bottom, which, is perfect for yeah. those of you that always need a lip gloss or a metro card. Um, and then also one more detail. So, you know, Tracy was fussing a little bit with the drawstring here. So actually, if you want to cinch it and then hide it, um, it easily snaps in. It does, that's a bit easy, I'm just blind. Um, so that it's hidden. So, yeah. yeah. People want to know, this is lined, how warm are they? So the fleece is lined, um, I would definitely say it's very warm. Mm -hmm. They are pretty thick, pretty, you know, standard fleece material. This comes in the quarter zip and then we have the full zip as well. Um, it's definitely a jacket that you're gonna go outside in December, in January, and feel comfortable in. I will say people are, you know, we've been wearing them in the office because the AC is on, mm -hmm. but it definitely, you know, I wouldn't say go out into the tundra in it, but definitely put a coat over it if you're going out into a snowstorm. Um, it's, def it's definitely warm. We definitely, you know, created it with purpose because we want to look good while still managing the cold. And then Allie is gonna come out in our last look. So Allie is wearing the black Scotty as well, which is the same silhouette that I'm wearing. Um, and she is wearing it with the black moisturized uh, shirt that Julia was wearing, but this is the long sleeve version. And then we decided to really kick it, kick it up a notch with the sock and shoe. So we paired the mint green sock. This one is actually the tabby version that you guys saw earlier. Um, and paired it with the um, shearling 
I believe this one is the, the, the high heel version of the Shearling shoe. Um, I definitely love this, these two greens together. And I think with this kind of black ready to wear combination, I don't think it looks too stark. I think it looks really fun um, and like chill, modern and classic. Um, and I definitely think, you know, Allie has some gold jewelry on, so I think that that's where she's really elevating this look immediately mm -hmm. with the bracelet and the hoops. You know, what otherwise might be just your average, like, active knit. Um, this one is obviously more tailored and more polished, but I think the right accessories really make this something that she could wear to a meeting, she could wear at the office, um, she could wear out on a date, yeah, she could I wear to dinner. What yeah. size? Allie is wearing a small in everything. And, and they're snapped. Allie has her snapped underneath as well. How tall are you again? Five six. Allie's five six. She has them snapped underneath as well. Um, so obviously, you know, Tracy and Amy really thought into the details here about, you know, how people of different heights are going to be able to wear these pants. And I will say, as someone who's five feet compared to someone who's five six and Julia who's five ten we all are able to wear these. Um, and again, for Allie, I think, you know, I would, I love doing a tan, um, put this on? Yeah. I love doing like a, a tan, black, navy combination with a bold color. So if Allie wants to layer, I think adding this chewed up knit um, in tan, which we showed in black earlier, over the black pant with the green sock and green shoe looks elevated and cool and chic but it's still wearable still approachable digestible um and again it's all really about the layers if she was like i i don't want the sock right now she could take it off and it really wouldn't take away from the look totally. i want to know about the toe of the sock is that the shoe or is that the sock so that is the sock so the socks come in two different styles one is a full regular sock, and one is a tabby sock. And for those of you that don't know, the tabby, um, basically like the big toe is separated from all the other toes in the sock. So if you wanted to wear it with like a thong sandal, that works. Um, but it is a detail that's of the sock, not the shoe. And I really love them and cannot wait to wear them. But I definitely think, same. Yeah. I definitely think that it's those small details that really make a big difference um, especially with fall you'll see that a lot there are certain details in every single piece we have the broken buttons that's on this shirt for example so remember your piece don't return it like they're all like that um, and the chewed up detail in the sweater so again having the sock and shoe combination really is just going to turn it up a notch totally. I love this one. are there any other questions from the audience We love the tabby socks. Love the under stylist. And the sweater. We love the sweater. What? What? <laughs> um, unless Amy has something else to share. Um, people want to find the socks on the website. But okay, guys. Yeah, DM your stylist. Text your stylist. Sorry, Patrick and Grace. <laughs> but DM them, Patrick and Grace. Um, that's where they're available. You can't get them online. You have to get them through a store stylist. They're hot commodities, but definitely worth it. Um, I hope you guys learned something today and are excited to experiment and style for fall. Buy your tabby sauce. Say how much you miss Amy on the live she wants me. We miss you so much. Sarah Maybe you want to spend time telling. <laughs> Um, I really enjoyed working from your office today. <laughs> um, you know, we're we're making we're making do yeah. without you. Somehow we're surviving. Barely getting by. Barely getting by, says Derek. All right, guys, that's about it. We have a lot to do. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, let us know. Bye. DM Patrick. <laughs>